Hi, this is The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. We have Ron Beckenfield. He is the CEO of Superior Source Vitamins, a vitamin that I've been taking for over six years, and I finally got him on the show. I'm so excited to interview him. We're going to talk about health. We're going to talk about lots of different issues that a lot of people go through, and I am just very excited. So Ron, why don't you tell everybody about yourself and tell them you know, everything? I want to hear it. Uh, well, of course, I'm Ron Beckenfeld. I, I've been in the supplement business for uh, 52 years. And one of the reasons I developed the Superior Source line is my father had Parkinson's. And with that, it's very hard to swallow pills. And then he had, and plus he had a heart condition and he was taking nitroglycerin tablets. He said, son, why can't you make something like this? And that was it right there. So... I started in this business. Before that, I started in, in the business out of the trunk of my car in 1969. I'd go to gyms. I would go to health food stores. And the, the industry was just barely burgeoning, coming around. And you know, I'd go sell them and I'd have it in my trunk of my car and sell them stuff. I'd go to small labs. I had stuff made. And that's how I started. And the business progressed, 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 progressed through the years. Wow. Now we're a hundred thousand square foot facility. We manufacture everything ourselves, and it's wonderful. That's amazing. And you know, we were just talking, and you are eighty years old, and you look like you're sixty. You just you your body looks like it's forty. You know, you just look amazing. And you know, so tell me, you know, a little about your health and how how you take care of yourself because you know we usually you know the way we look. And the way we is the way we feel, and also it's the way we take care of ourselves. So tell people some of the ways, you know, things that you do to stay in good shape and stay in good health. Let me give you a story. When I was a young, young, maybe 10, 12 years old, I was in a old fashioned magazine stands that have on the corner. Yeah. They have these, they have these uh, bodybuilding magazines. So I'm this, I'm, I'm really a young kid. I'm peeling through and this guy comes up to me, this not such a nice man. He says, you'll never look like that. Put that thing down. To this day, I have not forgotten that. Yeah. And, and, and uh, it motivated me. So right. I started uh, weight training actually about 10 years old. Wow. Yeah, which was too young. And I went into your typical sports, swimming, and I played basketball, little gymnastics, and even surfing, which is popular in California. Then... Uh, my mom was always a believer in vitamins. It's very young. She was giving them to me. And uh, I just, we ate, we ate good. You know, I'm a Hungarian descent. And it uh, just started kind of like that where uh, I, uh, I was ambitious always. I'll give you another little story, which is true. I had a paper route. And I'd be on this paper route. And this guy approaches me, says, you want to sell, sell these little stuffed dogs? He charged me two dollars and fifty cents, and at that time I was I was making fifty dollars a day. Now you're going back uh, uh, seventy years ago, which is a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. I wrote a report for my little job, and the guy says I'm out of stuffed dogs. I got to go down to Los Angeles Street and get them. So I go to my father, <laughs> and I tell him, Hey, Dad, this guy doesn't have any more dogs, but he gets them to Los Angeles Street. I was paying two fifty. Now I got them for 50 cents. <laughs> so I went back out and started selling them again. And that's how I really become business orientated. Right. And I was into the health and I was always into a, bodybuilding started basically in California. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even able to drive. And I used to uh, uh, hitchhike as a kid or uh, take the bus down to the gym and work out. And then. Through the years, you know, I, I, I would start, I started taking some supplements and some of the guys were selling it. And I said, hey, you know, I can do this. Right. And then I went and had a lab make me up some, uh, some different products. I used to sell stuff to Louis Ferrigno, Frank Zane, these big time. They were the great bodybuilders of the time. And I just started that way. And I started uh, going around to the health food stores, which is not a lot of them then. Right. And the gyms, and even the drug stores. And it just started great gradually gradually then with my father when he got the, the he has the heart problems and he was taking those nitroglycerin tablets that's when it went off then I went out and found these machines they were basically junk I had them rebuilt and I started the business that way wow 
I, I still work. Even at 80, I go to work uh, almost every day. That's great. You know, it, it's it's the passion. It's because you, you love what you do and that's why you do it. Yeah. And I like the reward. I'm not going to say I don't like making money. It's fun. As you get older, I mean, you know, a lot of things you can't do, but making money, you can make it any age. Right. And I think I'm, we're putting out some real quality products here. I mean, we're very, with our quality control and what we do, uh, nothing goes out that door. And most, almost every formula I formulated myself. Now you've come out with a few new products recently and, you know, I've tried them and I love them. And, you know, why don't you tell us about some of the, the d- different products that you have, like the beetroot and the, the beetroot. apple cider vinegar. Yeah. With the beetroot and apple cider vinegar, nobody, we're the first ones to come out with that. And I was taking the apple cider vinegar and uh, it, it'll, it'll take the enamel off your teeth. And it's very, very harsh. Yes. So I, said, I want to tame this down. And I found out I could get it in a powder. So we got the raw material and with the beetroot, we blended it together and put it in a jar. And it's uh, very effective. It's a good product. We're putting a good dose of everything in there. Now, can you tell people why it's so important to have beetroot and apple cider vinegar? Because I don't know if everybody understands why those two are so important. Well, the apple cider vinegar will put you in pH, pH balance. And the, beet, and the beetroot powder, just for energy and well-being, it's a good combination. It's yeah. re- reasonably priced, not expensive. You can get it at Amazon or almost any health food store. And, and that's... That's what I love about your products is that you don't overprice them. You know, I've, I, you know, I tried to get, you know, before I found out that you were selling the apple cider vinegar and beetroot, I was trying to look for it and people had outrageous prices for, you know, those two, those two ingredients and your, your prices are so reasonably priced, you know, and I commend you for that. Most people in the business are what you call marketeers. Mm -hmm. We are a manufacturer. We want to price uh, products or Everyday people can have them and they're not, you know, 60, 70, $100 a bottle. And it doesn't mean the products aren't good or anything, but manufacturers have a profit. So I'm passing that on basically. And so what? Get a reasonable pro- Most of our products are eight, nine, 10, 12 bucks, where similar type of products are double or triple. Right, exactly. Now, why, um, what kind of vitamins and supplements would you suggest to people, you know, especially, you know, middle-aged individuals or people, you know, um, probably like 35 and older, some vitamins and supplements that people should incorporate in their daily lives? Well, besides that, I think just a good solid eating. And I don't believe in diets. I think I'm in the business, but I think nothing beats food. I'm going to be honest with you. Right. Good food fresh food. Uh, I'll give you a typical day for myself, which I only eat about 15 to 1800 calories at the most. I'll have this morning. I had six, six egg whites, six egg whites. I have potatoes. I stay with the bread. I had a half a cantaloupe, uh, some herb tea. Then I'm going to go to the gym after this. We finish here and I'll come back and I'll have my uh, keto collagen drink. I think you got to put some protein in right after. So you're talking right now. I got 400 calories between the two. Right. Let's say I want another drink. Another hundred calories is 500. Let's say I'm going to eat a 400 calorie lunch. I'm at 900 calories. I'm three quarters of my day. So I could have a 600 calorie dinner. I'm a little over a thousand calories and I'm eating a lot of food. Right. I mean, a lot of fresh fish, fresh chicken, fresh vegetables, a salad. You got to be careful with the salad dressings. Yes. Hidden calories. And people just chasing all these crazy diets, you know, and everything. I don't eat the, the uh, candy bars. I call them candy bars, the protein bars. Yeah. My sugar only comes from natural sources, basically. Mm-hmm. It's fresh. Very little out of it. I'll eat a little pasta, but still, I can have a 600 calorie or even more dinner. And I'm weight, I'm like 13, 14, 1500 calories. And people don't realize that, you know, when you start eating stuff like a, a big muffin, you got about 800 calories right there. Exactly. Yeah, and you shoot your your shot, and then there's not much in it, but sugar and you know oils and so on and so forth. And back to the supplements, uh, I take a lot of supplements. I take the vitamin D. I take a five thousand per personally. Mm-hmm. I take uh, uh, the vitamin B twelve, methylcobalamin. Uh, I take vitamin K two seven. I take uh, some herbal supplements. And pretty much that's it. And I get make sure I get a lot of rest and I drink a lot of water. 
Uh, don't drink very little coffee, only maybe right before I go to the gym or anything, but very right. little of it. And uh, if I'm even a nap, if I'm tired, but a plenty of rest is real important. Yeah. That's when, when, especially if you're, if you're working out or training, you need to recuperate. And people uh, poo poo uh, eating a, a late at night. I don't buy that because if you're active, everything happens on the rest. So right. let's say you, you want to eat and feed, feed, feed yourself. So you, you know, they get the nourishment along with the rest. So eating real, if you eat at six in the morning, I mean, six at night and then six in the morning is 12 hours. I eat about seven, seven thirty at night. And I want to make sure I get enough nutrients in me so I can replenish what I got, what I, you know, burned off. But it's not, everybody makes a big deal out of uh, how to take care of yourself. You know, most, fit, most people, fit, yeah, definitely. And most people <laughs> get cravings at nighttime. Huh? Most people get cravings at nighttime because they don't eat enough during the day. Well, to a lot of get, they get mixed up your body or you get mixed up between sugar and fat. What might get that, even though you're full after dinner and I get the same thing for sure, uh, a handful of good nuts, then you'll see if is it a fat or a sugar because the nuts seem to work. And I use a, uh, uh, a mixture with as long as it doesn't have uh, oils or sugars or whatever they do to them, but all, you know, raw, it can be dry roasted. Right. That seems to work real well with me. And every now and then, you know, I mean, I, I will eat a sweet, but it's, I can go a month or so without anything like that. And a lot of people like to have a little drink, a, a glass of wine, you know, it's not going to kill you. Right. For you. I mean, you got to live. Of course. Of course. But the, Chasing these crazy diets and, and going on these uh, seven, eight hundred calorie diets or call starvation diets, your body's going to react to that. The minute you come off, if you can just get something, you can lose some weight and then level off with and stay with. And you can do you can go off the wagon a little here and there. It's not a big deal. You got to live. We went out to dinner last night. I had some Branzino. I had a little spinach. I had mm -hmm. a nice salad. I had a, a little pasta. Maybe I had. 600 700 calories at most right yeah and it, it's very in it i still probably only have 1500 calories for the day or eight, 1700 something like that which is low yeah it is low average prop person probably eats 2500 to 5000 calories yeah yeah and another you know and so you don't have to weigh your food and get crazy once you can look up what food values like greens a pound of greens is only 100 calories I know exactly. if I mean, yeah, there's nothing in it. I know the uh, fruit's going to be a little basket of strawberries, about a hundred calories, give or take. Right. If you have a piece of toast. I know it's around a hundred, 110, 20 calories, no big deal. But I don't right. put no butter, not, you know, keep the, or the salad dressing can get murdered on those things. Oh the, yeah. The croutons, you know, the dipping sauces or solid yes. sugar and all that, that, that you, you just pick up the calories like there's no tomorrow and there's no real food value. For those. Exactly. Exactly. What I do. I try to keep active. I'm active all the time. I really don't get tired. I think the more circulation, the more movement, the better you feel. It's when people don't move around and they sit on and like a couch potato. That's when the pain and the aches, you know, start to evolve because you they're rest, not getting enough rest. blood circulation. You rest, you rust. Yeah, <laughs> I like you know, that. You know, when they're younger, you're all this active and you're running around. You don't need that much exercise. I would say 40 is a real break off. Right. Where, especially when you get older, you're doing less and less and eating the same amount of food. You actually need more exercise and more movement. If it's walking, if it's stretching, if it's yoga, uh, believe it or not, a gym is a wonderful atmosphere for a social too. Yes. You can, people, you have a, a you know, common interest uh it's just wonderful and you meet lifelong friends yes and i found that to be like let's say you go to the gym at 12 o'clock the same people are there at 12 you know you're going to get to schmooze with all of them sooner or later right and, and you meet a lot of uh, nice nice people and you're all doing moving in the same direction right that that, that works for me and then just that type of stuff keep active yeah.
You know, that, that is key, you know, and a lot of times when people go onto those rapid weight loss diets, you know, what, what happens too is your body reacts negatively. You know, people have lost their hair, people have gained back, you know, all their weight or twice as much weight. So it's, it's not, not a healthy. good thing. It's not, it's healthy. not healthy to lose 50 pounds and bring it back up and down. Another thing, especially with the females or the hormones, you know, to keep all, as you get older, male, the male loses the testosterone, the female, all, all the other hormones is yes. getting down. The exercise will keep you level off. Yeah. You know, everybody gets old, but you know, you want to feel good. Exactly. You, be, uh, you know, be able to do things and instead of sitting around, but everybody does the wrong things. They're, they're running around and active when they're young, when they're older, they, they back off. And that's when you actually should be picking up, pick it up. But you got to make some time for yourself. I mean, I don't yeah. think, I'm, you know, maybe 30 minutes a day, a little bit here and there every day is, I think it's the right way to go. And you feel good too. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Your positive attitude. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like I do anything. And that's, that's, the, that's the attitude to have, you know, our mentality, if we keep, have a positive mentality, we will think positively, we will feel great, we will have, you know, we will have that strength that we need to, to accomplish anything. It's when we lose that mentality, and we stop thinking like that is when the people don't realize how powerful the mind could actually be is actually, you know, and how what we think is, it plays a big impact on our overall health as well. I couldn't put it any better. And I wish there was more people that felt that way. It'd be a better world in general. Yeah. You know, when you're putting all the energy to yourself instead of spewing all this other stuff out, I think it's just good. And you're one of the few. And I like to, that's, I like to only be around like-minded people. I don't mind a little controversy. I mean, if you're whatever side of the political fence you're on, I don't care, but this type is a, it's kind of a common denominator. We're all in, we, you know, it works. All my right. friends are. And I just, it's just good. And I think we were talking about power bars and, you know, especially granola bars, people would use them as a, a in-between snack during the day. And it's full of sugar, full of preservatives, full of, uh, you know, lots of ingredients that are horrible for the body. And especially if you're trying to look to lose a few pounds, you're going to be gaining a few pounds, you know, using those, those uh, granola bars. Those things are about 250 calories. Me, and like all the stuff you mentioned, even if they make them a little cleaner, it's still 250 calories where you can take a, a pro, almost any protein powder, a pea protein, or if you want to go a whey powder, they're only a little over 100 calories a serving and it fills you up and it doesn't have all the crap in it. Right, exactly. Those are, that's been a staple for me for decades and decades. It keeps my hunger under control and I'm always feeding myself with good stuff. I eat almost about every three hours. And that's what you're supposed to do. Right. And, and our movements. Very, very important. Yeah. Very, very important. Just makes you feel good overall. I mean, I have great confidence in myself. I can do anything. I, well, when we when we when we feel good on the inside and we look good on the outside, that boosts our confidence level tremendously, and that gives us the strength to want to be able, to, you know, to feel like we can accomplish everything and we can conquer the world. Absolutely, one hundred percent. That's what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. You know, besides, it was not a mirror I walked by. I don't love, you know, so it's another deal. <laughs> <laughs> Now, can you explain to people why it's so important to have vitamins and supplements in your daily diet? Because I think people don't realize that, you know, as we get older, we become more deficient in a lot of vitamins and supplements and how we need to stay balanced, you know, our whole body in order to function properly. Absolutely. I mean, a student, I try to eat as much as I can organic mm -hmm. and it's not available to everybody, you know. So I, supplementation, that's exactly what it is, but it's not, you need good food first. I mean, I'm into this business and I'm here because I love it and I like to make money and it's fun, but you really need good food and you need to keep moving. Yes. From there, then you start with the supplementation. You got to have the foundation is the good food. Yeah. The vitamins is not the cure-all or the supplement. No, it's not. Yeah. It's a supplement, exactly what it is. Exactly. It's just part, it's just part of the... Uh, I call it the four-legged tables. Mm -hmm. Rest. You got to exercise. Uh, 
proper nutrition. And I think you got to keep your hormones in line. Yes. Oh, definitely. Are you familiar with all that hormones and all that? Well, you know, as our body, uh, as we get older, our, our hormones start to decrease. And, you know, that's when we start, you know, see, feeling the changes. That's when our mood starts to alter. And, you know, we start to, you know, our body starts to function differently. We can, you know, we sometimes people feel the symptoms and they don't know what's going on, but it's because our hormones are changing in our body. Most of our body is run by hormones. Right. And that's probably the hardest part of the whole four-legged table is to get those a balance. For the men, it's pretty straightforward. Testosterone, the women are highly, highly complicated. It's all yeah. controlled through blood tests. And uh, that is probably the hardest part of it all. I always... The thyroid and so on and so forth. And uh, to get that, and it takes a, 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 a professional. Yes. And I... It takes a professional. And most women have that. I would say probably every woman has that thing with the, with the hormones dropping off and going every which way and getting on, especially when you get close to menopause, mm -hmm. uh, at, get on top of that before you do go through menopause. Yeah. I'm not a doctor, but I've been around this a long time and I, I know, I know it works, but that, that's the tough part. Eating is easy. Right. Moving is easy. Rest is easy. The last one is a tough one. I, you know, I always suggest to people, you know, if they start feeling changes in their body and they start, you know, experiencing different symptoms, you know, to go see a functional medicine doctor, you know, because they do excellent blood workups, you know, they check for everything. They're preventive medicine doctors that try to, you know, they check out the hormones, they check out what vitamins, what supplements your body's deficient of, because their goal is to prevent illness from occurring. Their goal is to balance your hormones. So it, you know, they check for everything. They check for things that don't look right, but are not a problem. So, you know, the only way you can really tell is by getting a thorough blood test and your primary doctor won't do the same type of blood test. No, you need endocrinologist. Somebody is in that business and you got to, those are like everything else. You know, I, I use it the 80, 20 rule, 20% can do or, is where it's at. The other 80 aren't so great. Right. Mm -hmm. and you got to, you got to recognize the symptoms. A lot of yes. people don't want to admit to the symptoms. Right. They don't want to make that first step. And that's important, especially for the females. Yeah. Especially. Well, I think yeah. a lot of people are in denial, you know, when they start seeing the change, because then they got to recognize that they're not as young as they used to be and that, you know, their body is getting older and that's hard to accept with, you know, but, you know, and if you want to stay healthy, if you want to feel the way you used to, then you have to do something about it and you have to act on it before it starts to worsen. Absolutely. There's, that's what I, I, I've noticed in decades, and I've been in the gym 64 years into this thing, I where women especially just got in it in the last 20 years. Uh, now I see women 40, 50, that are not be, they have, besides a tremendous figure, their skin is still good. And yeah. everyone I'm going to talk about, Everyone, and I talk to a lot of them, I'm, I'm in this environment all the time. I'm in this Gold's Gym in Venice where all mm -hmm. this really started, all exactly what we're talking about. And I, I never thought women of 40 or 50 could have those kind of fit, but that has just come around with the proper nutrition, proper hormone, proper rest, and they really get it too. Just unbelievable. I never would have thought it would be possible. Our society is definitely changing. People are becoming more aware of a lot of things. And I think people realize how important it is to take care of yourself. But you also have to realize they have to be very careful when they're in supermarkets and food stores to read the ingredients. Because the way people market on food, you know, they, they give a wrong impression. They, they do it very sneakily, the, the marketers. So it looks like it's healthy, but it's not actually healthy. Another thing you got to be careful is with serving sizes. Yes, serving sizes. That's a big issue too. If you learn learn if you learn how to read labels, you pretty much got it made. If it's fresh, you don't got to read the label. But I mean, when it comes in a packet, something you got to have some packet stuff. Or like ketchup, you know, two grams of uh, sugar in a, in a tablespoon or a tea is a lot. It is. It is. And you would never think it's in the kit, but it's added the added sugars. Yes, it's read the, the added packet. sugars. I mean. I didn't go to college, but I know how to read a little bit. Right. You learn how to figure this stuff out. It's just not that difficult. 
it's not as difficult as uh, working a computer. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like even like with eggs, they'll say no added hormones. Well, it, it has hormones in it, but they didn't add any extra hormones. So that's another market employees when they say no added, whatever it may be is right. because they have it. It's already in there, but they didn't add any extra to that. What they normally, you know, do also. Yeah. But the movement is, you know, everything's moving organic. I mean, the, the changes have been unbelievable. Now the mainstream, the biggest sell of organic produce in the, in the world is, believe it or not, is Walmart. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yes. And I, I, I love shopping at Walmart because of the, and it's very, and they're about half the price of a traditional supermarket. Mm -hmm. I don't want to plug in these guys, but that's just the way it is. Well, I'll go to the supermarket and I'll spend X amount of dollars and I come out of there with maybe two or three bags and I'm like, what did I buy? You know? No, it's just Walmart is the biggest uh, seller of organic pr produce in the, in the most reasonable price. They do have a lot of reasonable prices. They definitely do. They're, these guys are all there to make money. Whatever's popular, if it's organic, schmorganic, it, they're going to get into it. Right. And that's where the trend is. There is money and that's where it's going. All, all you know, besides a, a Sprouts, or a, which we do business with, or a Vitamin Cottage, we do business with, Whole Foods, we do business with. There's other, everybody's in this business. Yeah. Years ago, I mean, I'd go into a restaurant and for some egg whites, it'd kick me out. <laughs> now you have no trouble going and getting egg whites somewhere or get it this way or get it that way a little bit. Yeah, no, definitely. Most a lot of people just eat egg whites. They don't eat the yolk, you know. Yeah, but I'm just talking in general where the mood is, uh, where they have uh, even a nice the restaurants they put a uh, even McDonald's. All of them they would sell this type of food if the, if people want it. So it's an educational process, and uh, it's not that difficult. I don't know why people make a big deal out of it, especially this dieting. I don't believe in that. Really. Yeah. Well, you know, if, if you put food in your body and your body doesn't recognize it and it stores it and then that those toxins, you know, because yeah. it, it's not real food. So it, it, we're, we consider it a toxin. And so it stores those toxins in your body and, and they build up over the course of time, it slows down your organs it slows down, you know, the way your body operates. And that's where sicknesses and illnesses come about. And, yeah. you know, and so, it, you know, if you don't eat healthy, your body's not going to be able to either break it down well, or it's not going to recognize it. And it's just going to store it because it doesn't know well, where to put it. If you're not moving, if you're moving, at least you're expelling maybe a little light sweating, mm -hmm. perspiring, more of a term. Yeah. Just moving around or just breathing a little bit more. That'll expel a lot of this stuff. But when you just don't do anything, it's, it's like a, a double hit. Right. Exactly. You're, you're getting hammered at both ends. Definitely. So I mean, you have no, besides the normal uh, bowel movements, there is other processes of elimination. Now, of the, if, you do nothing, you're not eliminating nothing. All you do is become a storage. Exactly, exactly. And that's where illness comes about. Right. And every, you know, some, you're genetically prone, but there's such medicines now. I mean, you can stay on top of things, but the best way is to take care of yourself. That's your best investment. And it's fun too. It's challenging. It is. I agree with you. I agree it's, with you. It's fun. And it's not that hard. No, it's not. You deal out of it, you know. If you, had to, if you had to give people, you know, maybe three or four tips on how to stay healthy, how to look as good as you do at, at your age, what tips would you give people on how to live a healthy, happy, and productive life? I think important, too, is have some character. Mm -hmm. Be an honest, decent person. Don't try to screw people. Right. Uh, I think eating is number one and make sure you get rest is number two and you do need some exercise it doesn't have to go you know kill yourself in the gym yoga stretching 20 minutes a day you know you can just do a little something or first thing in the morning you can even do some exercises in a bed right and stretch before you can get out and you get 10 minutes there and just a little something i think you're on on your way pretty much and when you, for your, where can people find superior source vitamins? Where is the easiest place to go to find your vitamins? Probably online would be a, a Amazon or a Walmart or a Vitacost, a, a iHerb. These are a big all internet guys. We're, we're an, 
thousands of health food stores, Vitamin Shop, Sprouts, Vitamin Cottage, your independent health food stores, a ton of them. And I, I noticed that you run a lot of promotions, you know, to help people save money on the vitamins, even though your vitamins don't really cost a tremendous amount of money. You, you still run a lot of promotions. I see monthly that people can well, find it's part of the business, you know, I mean, that's what you got to do. And uh, you know, we want to make stuff affordable for the regular person. And I would like them to take our products regularly. I think we have some great products and, you know, especially with the, the, our, our superior source microlingual, you don't have to, you don't need no water. It's so small right under the tongue or you don't even want to swallow it. It's like the size of a BB at the most. Right. So a quarter of a size, less than half the size of a dime. So nobody's going to choke. And another thing is, uh, is with the kids, They're, you know, with his gummies. Yeah. Not knocking the industry because it's tremendous is there's a lot of sugar in those. They're putting there two, is. four grams. We come out with a line that basically uh, a kid's line call it clean melts. It has basically no sugar in it at all, no artificial sweeteners. And it, we have a, for, you know, many, many products in that line that with, like I say, it doesn't have the sugar. And I don't think it's a way to start a child's life with three or four grams of sugar. No. I think it's a good way to start a, 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 your young ones like that. And if you look around, obesity has increased tremendously over the course of the last five to six years, you know, our, our society has, you know, is not, has increased a lot of people, you know, battle with, you know, overweight, being overweight. And it's because of the way we're eating, the foods we're choosing, and some of the things that are being marketed that aren't good for us. And even with gummies, I don't think they're as potent as other sources of vitamins, if I'm correct. Yeah. They, they can't get they, they have not been able to get all the potencies in there and they're and it's the sugar mainly it's basically a form of candy and then you know i'm not i don't want to knock anybody yeah it's, you know basically uh the fast food companies you know people that don't have a lot of if you eat healthy and clean it doesn't mean it has to be expensive right exactly and the fast foods are this exactly what they are and they're there to make a profit and they uh, keep everything in line and shortcut I've never, I've never even, I never saw a McDonald's till I was 16 years old. Mm -hmm. I've only, I've never eaten at any of those places ever, ever. No, it, it, it's, it's very bad for you. And I was, I was telling you earlier when I went to Europe, um, the, the actual McDonald's was actually, they had a lot of healthy foods, not, not in America, but in, in, in Europe they did because in, in Europe, they banned a lot of the foods that we sell in America and I never saw I never saw a McDonald's that that sold healthy foods, but they in in Europe they had them actually. There's some more. There's some places popping up more in the vegan line. I mean, if you would to be honest with you, that with a protein base and a, a vegan type of diet, you, you're I mean, you can't help them get in good shape. It's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. Right. I mean, I even eat the vegan burgers. You know, the the veggie burgers are good. They're low calorie too. But I mean. Fresh fruits, vegetables, and a protein base, you're just going to be right on the money. It's oh, not that expensive. 100%, 100%. Right on the money. It's tasty and you feel good. I mean, all natural fruits and vegetables, and, you know, it's just the way to go. But it definitely a lot of people is. don't have the time, you know, I mean, or, or instead of going to a fast food, hey, I can, you can have a protein drink that has 100, 150 calories, it'll fill you up. And, and you can even get with the greens in them. Right. Exactly. Green, so you're really getting everything you need. You're getting all your nutrients, some protein, and you're getting uh, calories and food, and it's actually cheaper. Yeah. I mean, it might cost you a buck a serving or something like that. Right. And, and compared to, I don't know what a hand, I don't know what a fast food burger costs. I wouldn't have the slightest idea. I don't think it's a dollar. No, I, I'm not really sure either. I haven't been to one in a very long time. <laughs> Every time I see them, I'm passing by them. I don't go in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So tell everybody one more time where they can find your your vitamins and supplements. Well, at Amazon, Walmart.com, uh, almost any internet company that's in this business. And of course, uh, basically any health food store, that would be Sprouts, uh, Vitamin Cottage, uh, Bigger Chains, Whole Foods, those type of people. We're not, we do business with all of them or all our partners. And pretty much your local health food store. If not, go ask for it. Excellent. 
you know, it's been a pleasure. Stacy, Stacy sent you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to meet you sometime. I would love to meet you too. Yeah. I definitely would. I've been, ta like I said, I've been taking your vitamins for years and years and years, and I've wanted to get you on the show because they're they're fabulous. I love how they just melt underneath the tongue, how they're so cost efficient, how they are they, they work so well on your body, and uh, clean. I just, they're, they're clean. great. We have, we have the cleanest product in the business. I believe it. We don't put all the flowing agents and the so on and so forth and all the chemicals in there. People don't realize, but a lot of those vitamins have a lot of fillers in them, you know? A lot of vitamins have more fillers and actives, not, not, not just the gummies. Yeah. When you talk about B12, maybe a normal company would put the tablet be 250 milligrams and you only got one milligram of active B12. In it. Exactly. A, so where are the other 249 milligrams coming from? Exactly. 100%. I don't think people realize that. A lot of people don't realize that when they're looking at the vitamins. Correct. Right. Yeah. So it's been great having you on the show, Ron. Thank and we thank should, you. We what? should do it again. We should do yes. it again. I think we should. I definitely think we should. And keep doing what you're doing because you look fabulous. You're <laughs> you look amazing. I hope thank I hope you. I hope when I get to your age that I can look as fabulous as you. Very, look, come on out here and let's work out together. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. We'll set a date. We'll definitely set a date. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.